Hi, and welcome to Early Latin American History, um, History 1181. My name is Brandon Morgan, and I am the instructor for this course. This video is just to help you get started and understand how course navigation works in our particular class. Um, we do use the CNM um, DL classroom template that all distance learning classes now use here at CNM. But there are some variations, so that's why I wanted to make this video to help you find your way along. The key to the class is to realize that you need to keep tabs on the syllabus and on the learning modules. So read the syllabus to see the overview of how the entire class works together, to see the course schedule for the entire semester, and to look at the book review assignment and the final project. There are also tabs inside of Blackboard under the course content section of the menu where you can find the uh, information for the final as well as for the book review. Um, I've put things in many places so that hopefully they will be easy to access when you need them. In terms of being able to make sure that you've gotten all the work done that you need to do for any given unit, uh, please refer to the learning modules. So that is your guidebook to getting through each unit. Most units are two weeks long, with the exception of Unit 1 and Unit 7. Unit 7 uh, is where we'll focus on Malinson's choices, uh, and then you'll have your book review due at the very end of the semester. So Unit 7 is the week right before Thanksgiving. When we come back from Thanksgiving, uh, you'll just have some time to finish the book review and complete your final project. Week one, or unit one, is uh, an introduction to the class as well as to history. You know, what is history? How do we study it? Those are questions that you'll be getting into in that unit. Please do recognize that there are quite a few different assignments to complete for unit one, and that all of them are due on uh, Sunday, September 4th by midnight. Um, so if, as long as you follow through uh, everything that's listed in the learning modules, you will ensure that you've completed all of the work. The other tabs that are there under course content are just for ease of access. So for example, if you started into um, Unit 2, for example, you got to the readings, so you shut off Blackboard, you went to your books, and you're working on that part of, uh, of the unit, and you wanted to come back to the discussion, you don't have to go back to the learning module, but you can just click on the discussion tab and go straight there. Um, the same would be true for the wikis, and uh, for the reading tweets, you're going to want to complete that work on Twitter itself. But again, you go back to the learning module to see the checklist of everything that you need to complete uh, for the given unit, and uh, to find the due dates for all of that work. Please do note that the first week of each unit is dedicated toward reading and watching the videos that are included. So spend your first week doing that. By the first Sunday of every unit, you need to have completed the reading tweets assignment. So that just goes right along with the reading. It's how you can kind of take notes and discuss the reading with the rest of us as you go. Week two, um, on the, the Wednesday, the second Wednesday of the unit, or the Wednesday of week two, um, that's when you will submit your reading question for the discussion assignment. And then all of the other work, the responses to the discussion questions, and the uh, wiki assignment and the journal, those will all be due by the end of the unit, so the very last day of the unit or the second Sunday, as I often refer to it as. Uh, so hopefully that's helpful in just understanding uh, where we're going and how to navigate the course. Um, also, please note that generally I don't work on the weekends. I have all of the uh, due dates on Sunday nights just to give you as much flexibility as you may need to complete all of our course assignments. Sorry for that, I don't know what happened, but my um, computer dropped the frame. So this is just the last like two things I wanted to say. Um, I don't work on the weekends, so I will get back to you um, within that 48 hour time frame as promised in the syllabus. During the week, I will get back to you within 24. So um, I do try to make myself very accessible. Please take advantage of contacting me via email or Twitter or text message as outlined in the syllabus. And please, please ask questions whenever you have them. 